Hey, what's up guys? So I just finished the code for the form which will allow us to create a new URL. We had already completed the listing. So what happens is if I come over here and if I try to add something, for example, google.com, right? And if I hit save, I haven't reset the form, but ideally it is now visible over here. So how have we done that is something which we will quickly look at. I have inside my Next.js a URL slash add page. I have refactored everything from link to URL. Okay, this page. Now obviously the layout says the title, the breadcrumbs are here, which gives us this thing. Okay, I have home URL and add URL. Add URL is hashtag. Then we have some basic markup and the form. So typically any page create page has this form which is the most important piece let's go inside the form and what do we see over here so i have this i values which is basically the value type i have initialized that inside this initial value which is a constant why well basically what i'm doing is the form is being created using formic so i have initial values the formic needs that initial value thing so i did defined it over here saying this is of type i values okay on submit this function will get triggered which is here it gets the values which is of type i values the reset form should be done over here so that you know the form gets cleared once i hit save okay and then the, these are things coming from the formic helper then we have a validation schema the validation schema is over here this is using the yup library so i'm saying that the object has only one thing which is url which is a string and should match this regular expression which i took from this stack overflow code which basically checks whether that's when it has an http or https or not i think ftp is something which i won't check okay it should have ww as well i need to remove this as well okay i'll try it out again but i think generally this makes sense and then if this is passed right the form will submit obviously now in here what do we have we have the http service a very simple you know axios get and post the reason i have done this is you know this service will check whether there is a cookie available and whether the cookie has the authorization token or not if it does then i will add that as the you know bearer token when we are doing the authentication part of it okay fine so the form has form element this is nothing but you know a wrapper component which gives me a label okay and that is the reason i have this enter url thing over here so the label is rendered then i have the children and that's how i get the field over here the field is something which i'm writing inside the form element it's by default type text okay i have the name as url id as url enter the url enter the url to add right so these things are done and then the next thing is obviously the form element is also responsible for showing the errors okay the errors are nothing but let's say if i do something like this the validation says it needs to be a valid url how that is happening well this form element which we have over here right it takes the name the label and then errors and touched and these are two things which i am destructuring from here okay this is part of the formic form in which we are creating and based on that what happens is this form field error checks if there is something called as errors name and if we have already touched it i mean the field is touched there is something changed right then we show the error okay that's as that's pretty straightforward so what happens is you know we pass this form element with the validations and everything are taken care of and then we have the text field in here and then the save button okay on click of that save button obviously the submit function is called values i'm getting over here 
and then I make a post call to the resource URL, which is URL API slash URL, right? And I send this data over here. It's an async function. And once I get the response back, I reset the form. Now, obviously I would need to do a little bit of handling, for example, reset the form only if let's just say the response is response dot status equals 200 then i do the this thing otherwise i don't so for example i have a validation inside url controller store the create url request right let me show you quickly the validation so this url create store function right it uses this request class this request class rules function says that the url field is required it has to be a valid url and it has to be a unique url okay so now what will happen is obviously because i haven't done the entire validation let's just say because the database i know already has amitav roy see this is the current situation right so because this url is already there i will not be able to save and reset so now nothing is happening but the moment I do something like one, two, three and save, well, that's weird. This got saved, but I think the status code was not 200. It will be a 201. How can I miss that? Right. So maybe what I will do is say if the status code is 201, one, two, three, three. Okay. Network save and i got this and obviously the form resets itself and that's what we wanted so this is a small one i mean the url entry is created and we should be able to see the list over here as well so things are working fine um, i'll need to change the sort orders and stuff but generally this is working and in the next video i'll try to see if i can handle the pagination as well so thanks for watching guys i'll continue to post more functionalities about this application so that you are you know, able to understand how things are moving and what you know what i am trying to do with this entire application yeah thanks for watching if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel